Now, what sort of shooting are we going to see from the World Cup leader? Johannes Tingis Burr. Field my A. What can he do? Uh, silver medal in the sprints. He got a silver in the mass start at the World Championships last year. And with uh, a good time coming in, he's going to be close to the lead. Here is Simonada. 32.4 seconds on his first prone shoot and took quite a long time before the first shot was released. 16.9. And then it's generally 2.5 in between each shot. Oh, fantastic. Ligrid, uh, second best shot on the tour to Simonada this year. Loganoff will know that he's got a 30 second advantage over the current leader, Simonada. And he's going to carry at least uh, 25 out onto his penultimate loop. So great performance by Loganoff. Ligrid not happy with the fact that he has missed again. Just going to say he was 19th in the World Cup standings, Mike. And. Uh, this is by far and away the best we've seen from him this year. That was just natural, instinctive shooting. Five with five, and he's got a chance. Breaking the rhythm. It's a nervy shoot, and there's the result. Another miss for Johannes Tingisbo, and five goes wide. It's looking more and more like a Russian day here in Antolt with Loganoff leading the way. We're going to have a new leader here. Loganoff is the man we stay on at the moment. Uh, Johannes Tingisburg, four misses today. Loganoff, no misses. 1.18 inside. Ligrid, second place uh, after the fourth shoot, having been outside the top ten after the third shoot. So the Olympic sprint champion missing out today with those two misses on the... Last loop, Lucas Hoffer dances his way. He is in fantastic form. Here comes Hoffer. Watch the clock. Loganoff is safe. Ponsolomo is going down into third, soon to go down into four. And the Italian could well end up on the podium today. Hoffer, 1-10 behind, is uh, going to be pushed down into third place. Ligrid survives despite the work rate from uh, Lucas Hoffer. And he goes into second. Phil Maillet is good in the finish. He's very good on the meadows. Here he goes. Up over the climb. Dances his way. Was that any quicker than Hoffer? I'm not sure it was. He's still down in fourth place. But he, he knows exactly what he's got to do over the last 400 metres. Here comes Phil Maillet. 110 is the deficit he's after. It's going to be very close. 19, 110. Oh, he gets it by a tenth of a second. And celebrates that instantly as he comes across the line. And Luki Hoffer misses out yet again. Fourth just isn't what he wanted today. Agony. So we've got Phil Maia at 110.6. We've got Hoffer at 110.7. Duchenko is either going third or fifth. It's going to be painful when he looks up at the board. Can he hang on there and get that third position? He's got just over 10 seconds to go with 80 metres still to ski. Round the final corner for Duchenko of Ukraine. Zima, of course, getting a silver medal in Oberhof last week. He's going to miss out, I think, by fractions. Oh, it's so close. So, so close for Duchenko. But it's fifth.